Let's talk about deletion processes in children's pronunciation. So deletion happens a lot. For example, uh, toward final consonants using a process called, quite sensibly, final consonant deletion. So this is exactly what it sounds like, where the final consonant in the word, that is the consonant at the end of the word, just doesn't get pronounced, it gets deleted. So dog and bus and butt and because all have consonants as the very last thing in the word, and if final consonant deletion has occurred, then quite they get pronounced as you might expect. So dog becomes da, bus becomes ba, but become or excuse me, boot becomes boo, and because becomes beca, right? You just delete that final consonant. This happens a lot. Another deletion process happens when more than one consonant appears together, a consonant cluster, and these are kind of hard to pronounce, and right, so it's uh, so what happens is kids delete one or the other. And so here are some consonant cluster deletion examples. So I've highlighted in blue some example consonant clusters, that is a sequence of two or more consonants in a row. Here I think we just have two in every case. And when you have consonant cluster deletion, you will delete one or the other, right? So blanket might become banket or lanket. Bring will become bing or ring. Bump will become bup or bum, stop will become top or sop, desk will become deck or des, and school become cool or sool, right? You just delete one of them. Either one can be deleted. We're not going to get into the details of what causes one or the other to be deleted, but if consonant cluster deletion has happened, then one of them goes away, right? So pretty straightforward. And then unstressed syllables. So what this is, is when uh, you have a syllable, which where the heart of a syllable is, is one of these vowel-like sounds, and an unstressed syllable is one that just doesn't get a lot of emphasis. So if you're kind of speaking really quickly or you're having trouble speaking, as you might if you're a child, you kind of drop out the ones that don't have a lot of emphasis on them, the ones that are unstressed. And so unstressed syllables in English usually have this schwa as their vowel. So here's some examples where I've actually uh, put the stressed syllable, the one that gets the emphasis in all capitals here. So giraffe, the j is the unstressed one. Away, the uh is the unstressed one. Alligator, a and ge are stressed, but the l and the tur are not. They have that schwa again. Banana, you have b is unstressed. And actually, the final one, n is unstressed, but the na is stressed. Banana. Butterfly, that intermediate tur, is unstressed. So again, you can usually check this out in the IPA with a schwa as a sample of an unstressed syllable, but oftentimes, hopefully, you can hear it as well where the emphasis in the word is. But if you have unstressed syllable deletion happening, then guess what? You delete the entire syllable, everything that's associated with it. So not just a consonant, but like the vowel as well. So giraffe, for example, would become raf. You just get rid of the entire first syllable there. Away becomes way. Alligator, you actually dump the, both of these syllables. You end up with agay, right? Banana, if you dump the first one, you get nana, or if you dump both of them, you just get na, right? And butterfly, if you dump that middle one that's unstressed, you get buffly. So these are deletion processes.